Welcome to the shop. I sure like my Spectrum transmitter and my Spectrum receivers. Use them in a lot of planes. With this one, the AR631, it uh, has the latest updates, so and now it's like a 631 Plus, maybe. Uh, it has AS3X Plus on it, and I have that on many, many planes, and it's, it's an excellent system. I rely on it heavily. However, I've got some planes that I don't want to spend $100 on a receiver. Yes, I can go with the less expensive 420 or 620, but there's also some other systems out there, like Lemon RX, like this, I don't even know who makes this, and off Amazon for like 15 bucks. I've used them all, and what I want to do in this video is go through some testing. I'm going to go through and show kind of a range test, see which ones work really well. I'm going to go through ease of use, and just some of the pros and cons for these. Yes, I'm going to look at the price when you compare, you know, this Lemon RX here, which no stabilization all, you know, for $25. That's not bad. Um, though I do want to, I'll, I'll, I'll highlight those kind of things. And then you can make the decision, what do you want to risk? Are you going to put something like this in a $800 extreme flight? Eh, probably not. This, I'm not. I'm going to put a Spectrum in some satellites. But that's just me. That's how I weigh out the risk involved on the certain type of plane that I'm using this in. So, Stick around, go through the testing. I'm going to show all that stuff. And then in the end, we'll kind of show you know the pros and cons for each one of these. So then you can make that educated decision. So if you like these videos, that'd be great to hit that like button. If you have a question, leave a comment. And also, if you have experience with some of these other receivers, love to hear your experience. You know, you like lemons, you use them exclusively, you hate them, you've had outages with them, whatever the case might be. I think the community would really know what you think. Stick around. Okay, range test. So in order to do a range test, got my tripod out, built this little foam thing that I can put a receiver on. It's got a servo, speed controller, all the stuff that I need to test distance. It has a flag on it that waves around. And so that's how I'm testing this, just so you know. Testing. How well does this work? This is the Lemon RX. And uh, I'm going to step back, put it into range test mode and see how how far I walk back till it fails. In this particular one, there's no telemetry. So I'm just gonna do it till it quits moving. I'll kinda, hopefully my mic will reach that far, but we'll see. I'm gonna go back 30 paces. 30 paces, go into range test, reduce power, and that works fine. Getting a little bit of a delay. I'm gonna adjust my antenna a little bit. No, we're good. A little bit of a delay at 40 paces. All right, this is 60 paces. And it's still working at reduced power. This is the Lemon RX. I'm wondering if, if reduced power is really reduced power, because I'm way the hell back. I'm back to the fence here. This is as far back as I can go. Let's pace off and see what this is. Okay, we have the Spectrum AR420 uh, and have it in this position here. We're gonna do the same test. I'm gonna go back a few paces, put it into, and it's working fine. I'm getting, not getting great performance out of it based on the telemetry and we're still going. Getting a lot of data on telemetry that's showing that it's having some issues. All right, I'm going all the way back to 100. Let's just see if she can do it. As I, I'll just keep going back and forth. And this is in reduced power and the telemetry is not working great, but you can see the controls are working fine going all the way back to the fence, uh, but getting some fades. Okay, so at 100 yards, no problem. Worked fine. That kind of surprises me. Okay, we have the no-name brand. I don't even know who makes it. 
Uh, we're gonna do the same kind of test. I just did a bind on it and, and it works great. We're gonna go into range test and see how she does. Gonna go back 30, reduce power, and it's working, works fine. All right, I've got that no-name brand. And yeah, she definitely quit working altogether. There she goes. But at 30 paces, at 30 paces, she worked fine. All right, we have the AR631. I put the antenna so it is going vertically. And we're gonna go into range test. See how well she does. 30 paces, great. And the telemetry, the telemetry looks decent. Not great, but decent. All right, that's working good. That was 40. But, I mean, we're going all the way back to the fence. And no problem. So that one also, as you would expect, uh, does very, very well. Let me talk about the features of this specific Lemon RX. So I've got several of them. It's, for me, it has been, uh, I, I haven't identified any issue uh, or failures with this particular se system here. Uh, I also have the one that has the seven channel with stabilization. And I put that in several planes and I have not had an issue. This particular one has zero telemetry. So you don't get the cool telemetry stuff. Uh, you do have the seventh channel. So if you're putting this in a plane and you have retracts and you have flaps and you want that extra channel for reverse thrust or for controlling a, let's say a reflex, FMS reflex gyro, you have that option where a lot of the systems out there that only have six channels, you're kind of left out a little bit. So this gives you some options. It's got a, you know, a button for binding and a button for setting the fail safe. It also allows you to you know, connect a satellite receiver for additional redundancy. So just some information on it. Again, though, there's no telemetry. So you're not going to be able to see how good the signal is, you know, after your flight, you know, did you get any fades or things like that? You're not going to get it with this guy, but for 25 bucks, it's something that you'll have to weigh out. All right, old reliable, the Spectrum AR631. Now they have the AR631 Plus, which is just a firmware update. You can make this do the same with AS3X Plus. Fantastic, reliable system. Um, I've had great success with it. You get a lot of features with this. You get the forward programming. You get the fantastic AS3X Plus, Safe Select, all of those great features of this. It is only six channels, but it gives you a significant amount of features. Now, it obviously costs significantly more. So this is where you have to weigh what do you, what do you want from your receiver? So Spectrum, outstanding system. The most economical Spectrum receiver is this AR410. I kept saying before, I think 420. This is the 410. Anyway, this system here is basic, bare bones basic. Four channel, um, you have telemetry, so you can take a look after a flight and see kind of what's going on. Um, it, it, but it's bare bones, let's be honest. There's not a lot to this. It does work well in the tests that I had. You know, it went all the way, you know, 100 paces at reduced power. Pretty inexpensive, nice small form factor for putting in some of those planes that, you, you know, maybe are limited on space. Very good system. Good pro, you know, good, good solution for most situations. The Amazon special for, I don't know, 10 bucks, whatever it costs. Um, you know, this obviously bare bones, four channels, comes with a, comes with a bind plug. There's a plus. 
Uh, this is basically very simple. I will say though that I have this in my crack yak because my crack yak usually isn't more than, you know, 50, you know, 50 yards away from me. Uh, so this works out fa fine, and I've used this. I've had several of them that I've used, and they they all seem to work okay. Um, they're nothing that I would put in a very fancy, uh, fragile airplane, though. But for what they are, no telemetry, four channel, very basic and simple. Seems to work okay. Okay, have the Lemon RX seven channel with stabilization plugged into my Tasman here. You can see, got some battery telemetry here, which is kind of cool. I could scroll through the monitor. Here's something that, so over there, A100, it's just giving you the percent of the value of how strong it is from, I guess, zero to 100. It's not gonna record it. After the flight, it, it doesn't kind of tell you if there's any fades or holds or you know, issues like that. You see real time. Now you could probably, I think you could set that up as an alarm. I haven't tried that yet. Probably a good thing to learn. Here's some information about the battery. Telemetry on altitude. And as it to kind of just goes through all the different things. This right here is something interesting because this right here enables me by pulling the sticks in a certain direction here Pulling them, I believe, down and down and out. Don't count. Don't uh, check me on that. But the point of the, the matter is, is that I can go through and change settings with my transmitter. What I can't change are the pots, and those gain values right there. The only way to change them is with a screwdriver into those little, you know, pots that are inside there. That's the only way to change it. There is on some where you can this master gain and you can change all of them. I don't have that set up, but you can do that. 100% is whatever you have the gains turned to on the pots. Anyway, I think it's pretty interesting. Something that I'm enjoying uh, playing around with. As I said, this receiver has stabilization, but by no means is it like AS3X Plus. Uh, I've used both of them, and AS3X Plus gives you flexibility. AS3X Plus is a, a finer, <laughs> definitely a better product for stabilizing your plane than this. But this works in the applications that I've used, and it's okay. To summarize, the whole point of this video was to educate let's say newer pilots who have spectrum transmitters, that there are options out there. Uh, some of these options work better than others. You know, the AR631 or AR630 um, that's out there for stabilization, safe, and so on. I mean, that is like the, the standard, right? That, that works exceptionally well. Now, spectrum raised their prices which really created this whole concept in my head saying, wow, it's 104 bucks when I can get this with stabilization for under 50. And so I was kind of figuring out what are the pros and cons between these two systems? And I think I, I hope I shared what I know from that perspective. Um, I have this in several planes that I've been flying it. I have this in a lot of planes and I've been flying that. Both have been excellent. You know, one costs a lot less than the other, but it's not as easy to program, let's say, you know, the, the gains and set it up. Uh, some of the features aren't there. There's a lot of telemetry in there in this, and you can put satellites on it and a voltage telemetry. So it's, it's pretty impressive of what you can get from this at the low cost. There is that comfort level with going with Spectrum. There's no doubt about it. And, and I do it as well. A lot of these more expensive airplanes I have, and the ones that you'll see on my channel, you know, they're, I'm using Spectrum. Most of them have the larger Spectrum that has telemetry and voltage and satellites because I want to maximize that. If I'm spending $600,000, $800,000 on a plane, I'm going to spend $150 on the radio system. 
However, there's planes, because I'm in a position, did I get planes from FMS, an FMS Ranger? Instead of spending $104 on a receiver for that plane, I might go with this for under 25 and connect it to the Reflex and it flies fine. So just throwing that out there from a summary perspective, a lot of options, however you wanna go. I would say in some cases, if you have a plane, you know, you built a flight test airplane, you know, you might not wanna spend $104 on a receiver, but you might wanna spend a lot less or have this as well. There's a couple options for you. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you like it. If so, hit the like button. If you have a question, shoot away. I love those questions. Many of you are gonna have some comments specifically about your experience with Spectrum or Lemon or whatever. I would love to hear it. And a lot of people do read the comments. So if you have a bad experience specifically around this Lemon, and you know it was that lemon, I'd love to hear about it. What was it? Could you identify what that problem was and why? Those kind of things I'd love to hear. As well with Spectrum. I know that they're not foolproof as well. There's some people that really don't like them either. So love to get some of that feedback. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.